And the comptroller becomes a major player in city government overnight. This is generally someone who in recent history has run for mayor a few years down the line, but this is a serious financial position. They'll be in charge of watching how the stimulus funds are spent in the coming years. That's probably the big thing that's in, at stake in the immediate. And comptrollers also push policy. So we caught up with several of the major candidates to talk about their vision for the office. All right, great, thank you. New York State Assemblyman David Weprin has seen some recent momentum with the endorsement of the Daily News and elected officials like Congresswoman Grace Meng. And I'm the uh, most qualified candidate uh, for controller, the only one that has both private sector and public sector finance experience. Also touting her finance experience is Michelle Caruso Cabrera, a former CNBC reporter who recently tried to unseat Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. We have increased our budget in the city by billions and billions of dollars, like $22 billion in the last eight years. Does the city feel $22 billion a year better to you? The state senator from Harlem, Brian Benjamin, has a finance background as well and is focused on police reform. That's one of the things the control do to provide accountability around uh, how we are spending uh, city resources. And NYPD is one of those departments. Brooklyn City Councilman Brad Lander has the backing of most progressive leaders. Look, I'm proud to have the support of AOC and the New York Times. They don't always agree on everything, but that's a big coalition of people that want government to show up for people. Bringing a different perspective to the race is decorated Marine Corps officer Zach Iskell, who's dedicated his life to public service and has been endorsed by the Post. And I see the controller's office as one that can really get the city back in the business of solving big problems that this city is facing. Also in the race are State Senator Kevin Parker, finance veteran Reshma Patel, student Alex Pan, and attorney Terry Lifton. Making an impact entering the race late is current city council speaker Corey Johnson. He considered running for mayor before taking a step back. Now Johnson is running for comptroller with heavy union support. But this is a job about auditing city agencies, working with the pension funds, providing budget analysis in the short term and long term for the city. I have done that work as speaker. And because this is a city race, remember, it's subject to the new ranked choice voting system. So if several of those candidates or others seemed interesting to you, that's OK. You can rank them in order of preference. Live at Bryant Park, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.